everyone, Sorry Lita back again. I thought I'd just do a little fun video. So the other day I ordered a little wire stand for DVDs and while it can't hold all my stuff, I pulled out as many anime DVDs as I could find in my closet. So I thought I'd show you a little tour of some of the series that I really enjoyed and I got. So first up, you'll see Princess Tutu. Um, I really love magical girl stuff. It's very unconventional. It's about a girl named Duck, and I think if you like very odd kind of storytelling, you would like this one. Prettier is um, an interesting magical girl about how the way she gets different powers is in kind of implied that she has relationships with people. <clears throat> Puni Puni Fuemi is an adult parody of magical girls. Uh, magical Project S is the only really good Pretty Sammy series. Aside from the OAVs, ignore the sequel series. It was not good. So, Ray Earth was a classic. I actually collected those as uh, fan subs. Uh, this is the first series, and then the second series. Honestly, they did not need a box this gigantic, but these were the times back in the day for, like, four DVDs. And then the Ray Earth OAV. Wow, that one took a really dark turn. It's very different than the overall lighthearted, well, not lighthearted, but lighter toned of the main series. Um, Saint Tail, I had that one as a fan sub as well. I only got the first compilation. I believe it's only subtitled, which was kind of disappointing because I really like dubs now because I'm always working. Uh, Shamanic Princess is a interesting one. I like the artist style. It's kind of a very odd uh, standalone series, only one DVD of it. Um, I had the VHS, so I'm like, well, I might as well get the DVD, so there it is. Pris Prisma Elia, I believe that's a uh, spin off of Fate Stay Night, but now she's a magical girl for some reason, and I have not watched that one yet. Of course, I have Sailor Moon's uh, S and Super S and Stars and then two Deke ones, the original dub that was terrible, but I got it because it was funny. Another, let's see, uh, Pris Prisma series, AKB48. This is about uh, girls who transform on stage to try to fight a rebellion against overall oppressors. Renee is the sequel kind of series, the next series mm -hmm. for... The creator of Inuyasha, Rumiko Takahashi. Nurse Witch Kamugi. Oh, there's Gourmet Girl. Haven't watched it yet. Kamugi uh, was a parody of Magical Girls. And then they have a Kamugi R. I started to watch R, but it just... The art is so bad compared to the, the original. But, you know, it, I got it anyway. Little Busters and Girls pa Own Panzer. I haven't watched yet. I got them on a massive sale at Sentai Filmworks. Um, he is my master as well. I felt bad because I had downloaded episodes, so I just bought the DVD. It was on massive sale clearance anyway. Magic Users Club, Mausukai Tai. I actually got fan subs, but I kind of got ripped off. They never arrived. So I got the DVD set. Devil Hunter Yoko is the most uh, bizarre anime because it doesn't know if it wants to be serious or comedic or what, but I got it anyway because it was one of the first animes I ever got on VHS. Moldiver is an OAV that kind of stands alone. Jewel Hunter, Jewel Ben, Bem Hunter. Um, it was weird. I don't think it really ever had a sequel. I had a Tokyo Mew Mew fan sub DVD, which I don't, it was not legit. <laughs> Uh, Vampire Princess Mew is a really good series. I had the OAVs on tape, so I got the series. Not as dark as the series, the OAVs were, but still I liked it. Escaflone, of course, in its tiny little set compared to all the VHS cases I had to collect. Wedding Peach, the anime that didn't really get a fair shake until far after it came out. Uh, 7 of 7, I still haven't watched it. Uh, Dragon Half. We all know, uh... Uh, Tomagachi, you know, Tomago, Tomago, <laughs> anyway. Uh, Project Aiko had two DVDs. Amagatis, um, Ruin Explorers, Wild Cards was really bad, but I got it at the point in time where I got anything that had anime. Uh, Cosplay Complex, somebody gave me, still haven't seen it. Uh, Saber Marionette J, the anime that doesn't know how cloning works. Seriously, watch it and you'll understand. 
Knights of Ramune, I had got the laser disc and could never really, I didn't know what it was saying because it's in Japanese. So I got the DVD and then never watched it. <laughs> Tattoon Master was one of those weird one-off OAVs that I felt bad for copying onto a VHS, so I bought it the DVD. Angel Tales, you know, boy reunites with uh, animals that are reincarnated, I believe it was. Battle Athletes, My Dear Marie, Elf Princess Rain was hilarious. Magical Canaan, not to be, with the C, not to be confused with the K, because one is adult, which is horrifying, and one was for kids, which had terrible animation. <laughs> Pet Shop of Horrors was classic. Princess Minerva was another one I copied, and I felt bad, so I bought that one. Miyuki-chan in Wonderland, the supposedly hentai but not really um, video with uh, really awful music that kept looping. But, you know, I don't know. It was Alice in Wonderland, so I bought it. Sakura Wars, which I still haven't finished because it was one of those super popular anime that was going to really take off back in the day. Uh, Yashi no Seris about the twins that I never got the rest of the thing, but I think it's actually viewable online on a retro crush site. Real about high school, can't even remember it. Idol Project, one of those weird, obscure OAVs that finally came to America. Plastic Little, the super hyper-detailed, overly-rendered anime, which was eye candy, but the story was pointless. Well, at least from what I remember. Gunsmith Cats was a classic. Blood was another overhyped series that was supposed to be this groundbreaking thing, but never actually did anything. The Last Labyrinth was... Another weird OAV that they just got put out here, and I'm like, okay, whatever, got it. Jubei-chan was about the magical girl ninja. Uh, Mahaaromatic should have stopped at episode 25 because 26 undid everything that was amazing about that show. Kaleidostar is about a girl who wants to be in the circus, and I believe it had a second box set, but I never got it. Uh, Sonic the Anime, because of course, Animatrix, not technically anime, but I liked it anyway. Galaxy Angel, another one of those supposed to be really hot, but never went anywhere kind of series. Burn Up is a classic. Gokudo was popular for a while, but then nobody cared anymore. Video Girl I was, uh, what classic anime. Of course, the Inuyasha movies. K.O. Beast, which I still have not seen, but I liked some of the designs. Red Garden, the most screaming anime I have ever watched. Fruits Basket, oops, sorry guys, this was accidentally a bootleg, as well as Dean Angel and Shuffle, which were interesting shows, especially if you're not very good at speaking Japanese, and the subtitles were terrible. <laughs> Modern Magic, still haven't seen, Aquarian Age, uh, the next one, I don't even remember what that is. Alien 9 was supposed to be super hype. Rainbow Bright and the Star Stealer. Rainbow Bright from Homework, Dead Like Me, which, too bad, they didn't continue it, ignore the fact that there was a movie, it was terrible, I never watched it, it was awful. Joan of Arcadia, which totally deserved a season three, but never got it, just as they get the evil the evil version of her. Come on, guys, not cool. Digimon, Excel Saga, then a pile of uh, Miyazaki movies, Ghibli. Um, that's just my little collection right now. My entire closet is full of stuff that I got as gifts or discounts or clearance. Maybe I'll do a video on those later. Thanks for taking a look. Talk to you later, guys. Bye.